These are the pictures that went viral on May 19, 2017. Members of Kerala's Women in Cinema Collective, which include top actors, filmmakers, technicians, meeting Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. A few days after this, on July 1, 2017, the Kerala government announced a committee led by retired Judge Justice K. Hema as chairperson to study and submit a report on the issues faced by women in the Malayalam film industry. It was an important moment, one that many women in the film industry had been waiting for. But this eventually led to massive disappointment. The Hema Committee submitted its report to the government on December 31, 2019. The report remains a secret to this day, and absolutely no action has been taken on the basis of it. So why is the Hema Committee report such a secret? Was Pinarayi never serious about helping the WCC and women in the film industry? I'll tell you more. But before we go into it, a quick reminder that stories like this take time, effort and resources. We cannot do this without your support. So do become a member of the News Minute community by clicking on the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It was in February 2017 that a young actor was kidnapped and sexually assaulted in Kochi. There were murmurs that someone powerful in the film industry was behind the crime. As more stories came tumbling out on how unsafe women were in the film industry, a few of them got together to form the Women in Cinema Collective, or the WCC. One of the first things the WCC did was to meet Chief Minister Pirai Vijayan. They told him that the government had to address multiple things. Wage discrimination and harassment were top of the list. The Hema Committee started its work in July 2017. The committee has two other members, yesteryear actor Sharda and former bureaucrat K.B. Valsalakumari. For months, the committee met women and men from the film industry. Many women told TNN that they had confided in the committee. They had told them instances of sexual and mental harassment. But when the report was submitted, the Kerala government suddenly gave it confidential status, refusing to release it. When the Congress questioned why the report wasn't being released as it was mandatory under the Committee of Inquiry Act 1952, Pirai Vijayan told the Assembly that the Hema Committee does not come under the Act. Why? There was no explanation given. In February 2020, the then Culture Minister A.K. Balan shared a set of recommendations. It was just a set, not the full thing. And well, the entire report was still kept a secret. Later, many tried the RTI route. Although around a dozen petitions were filed, the reply was the same. The privacy of victims needs to be maintained. And this has been the government's constant excuse. We need to protect the privacy of victims. In fact, journalist Jisha Surya had reported for the News Minute that the decision to keep the report confidential was based on a letter written by Justice K. Hema in February 2020. The retired judge had cited Supreme Court rulings to ensure that the privacy of sexual harassment victims is maintained. But is this really a valid excuse? Who is the government trying to protect? We have spoken to members of the WCC and experts, and these are the main points they raise. One, the Chief Minister has said that the panel does not come under the Committee of Inquiry. So why was the panel created in the first place without any legal powers? Two, why can't the government withhold portions of the report where the victim is identifiable and release the rest of the report? The WCC has said that the government should redact sensitive portions and release the report. It has called the government's decision unfair to survivors who agreed to share their story to the committee. Filmmaker Anjali Menon points out that the committee had promised secrecy, which is why many of these women had agreed to speak in the first place. But these women reliving their trauma is now of no use. A few people TNM spoke to suggested that if the report is released, the abusers can be easily identified. And it is these people who are actually scared. These are the very people who may be exerting pressure to ensure that the report never sees the light of day. In fact, if women have told the committee about the harassment they face, these are cognizable offences. But no cases have been registered based on these depositions. Asha Jomis, whose RTI was turned down, says the argument of privacy is highly irrational. She says if a woman approaches a police with a complaint against a powerful person, can the police then say that it cannot be entertained because of safety concerns for the victim? Advocate Harish Vasudevan says that this looks like the government is trying to protect some of the abusers. Since the second anniversary of the report is coming up, will the Pinarayi Vijayan government finally release the report? And more importantly, will any action be taken based on the report's recommendations? Till today, the film industry has not been notified as a workplace, and no internal committee has been set up to deal with sexual harassment. We will keep a close tab on the story here at the News Minute. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and tell us what you think in the comment section.